hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on notification bell so that you all be notified on when i drop the next episode on Jordan akbar feel free to tell us what you want on the comment section and stay tuned jalal wears it and looks at laboni in an odd manner laboni talks in J judah's accent she hides her face with fear and says to Jalal that we should leave now. They leave. A pirate comes to Bengali Baba's house. Baba gets up. He laughs and says to pirates that I know what you want to say. Don't worry. I will come with you. He makes pirates eat. Judah is searching for Jalal in Haveli. She asks Hamida about Jalal. Hamida says he is in his room. Judah says no, I went there but he was not there. Hamida says I saw him right now. They come to Jalal's room and finds him sleeping. Judah is stunned. Hamida asks her to go and take rest. She leaves. Judah smiles and leaves. Laboni says to Damo that because of Judah, my plans fail. Damo says we passed first stage. You were able to take Jalal out of the palace. You handled everything well. You brought him back and made him sleep too. Now only two steps are remaining. Then you will have to get Jalal's body. You have to get Jalal on Punam night, then he will be yours. Laboni says, I am waiting for that night. In the morning, Jodah comes to Jalal and says, you didn't wake up to offer namaz. Jalal says, I forgot. I am not feeling well. Jodah asks, where did you go last night? Jalal says, I was with you. You were worried. You wanted to talk to so you took me to some isolated place. Jodah says, I didn't go anywhere with you. Jalal says, then it might be my dream. Jalal says, see, you are in my dreams too. Jodah says, where things happened with me too last night. I found an old lady last night. She warned me that someone wants to snatch the most precious thing from me. And you are the most precious. Jalal says, till you are with me, nobody can touch me. Don't think about it. Desi comes and says, Salim is waiting for you. Jalal says to Jodah that we should see him off as he is going to war. Jodah does Salim's ati. She says, come back after winning. Then Hamida comes and prays for him. She says, I will wait for you. Salim says, I promise I will come back soon. Daniel says to win for more girls. Salim asks them to take care. He hugs Jalal. Jalal says, I want you to come make me and more girls proud, but don't underestimate Pratap. He can attack you anywhere. Salim says, I have knowledge about it. I will be alert. Jalal says, this will be a difficult war and will give you a lot of learning. My prayers are with you. Salim says, I will not disappoint you. I promise I will bring his head or make him bow to you. Salim is about to leave. He turns and sees Anakali standing in the balcony. He nods to her and leaves. She says, I don't know when we will meet again. My prayers are with you. Pratap says to his ministers that Jalal is not coming. Salim is coming. Don't underestimate him. I wanted man to come to war too, but he is not coming. I wanted to teach him a lesson, as he is our betrayer. We will win this war. This land is of Raj Vanshes, and we will take it. Jalal is with Judah. Jalal asks her not to worry. I'm fine. She caresses his head. Jalal says, if anything happens to me, then I will become ghosts and will roam around you. Judah says, don't talk like this. Jalal says, I'm lucky to have you. You are in my dreams too, she smiles. They both caress each other's face. Desi comes and gives Jalal a letter from Mangalgar. Joda takes it. Jalal says it may, it may be important. Read it. Joda, Joda says, but promise me you'll keep resting. He nods. Damo tells Laboni that I made chain from Jalal's hair, but it's broke. I tried to make it again, but it's not happening, and my strength is decreasing too. We have to wait now. If I try magic now, then my powers will become weak. Laboni says, will it take time? Tamo says, yes, but don't make any mistake. Be silent for one or two days. Laboni says, okay. Desi comes and says, Jalal and Joda are coming, are calling you. Laboni says, what now? She leaves. Laboni comes to Jalal's room and finds Joda sitting beside him on the bed. They see her. She greets them. Joda says, Lila, I am your elder sister. So should I tease you? Lila asks what? Chada hugs and says, you didn't tell me about Sangram's sin. Laboni is stunned. Chada says, Sangram is coming soon. 
Jalal says, aren't you happy that your fiancé is coming? Laboni thinks if he comes here, then all will know that I'm not Lila. Jalal says, he is lucky to have you. Laboni thinks how to handle this now. Jalal says, Lila must be shy taking her fiancé's name. Jalal says, but she used to not be shy and used to make me afraid by her eyes. Jalal eyes him and says, Jalal, you, she loves. Jalal says to Laboni, I know Sangram. He's a very nice guy. Laboni says, this is my fate. Jada says to Laboni that I have called a tailor to get you dresses. I want your fiancé to keep looking at you. Hoshia is walking like a desi as Lukai has given it. Damo comes to him and teases him that you seem worried. She says, I have one question. I have heard that you are not Rukaya special anymore. Hoshia says nothing like that. Rukaya can't move without me. <laughs> she is dependent on me. Rukaya hears all this. Hoshia says she's handicapped without me. He turns to see Rukaya there. <laughs> Rukaya says, what did you say? That I'm handicapped without you? How dare you? She slaps him and asks him to not open her mouth. She leaves. Damo smirks. Bengali Baba is going from jungle. Pirate is showing him way. He says there is a weird puja going on in this area. It seems like some magic is going on. He finds bead which Laboni had thrown. He said soon I will meet her. Jada is selecting dresses. Jalau is passing by from there. He finds Jada checking dresses. He is lost looking at her. Baiba and Faisal, who are talking to him about politics, notices this too. Jada likes one dress. She sees Jalau looking at her. Jalau points that the dress is not good. She rejects it. She checks other dresses. Mosty likes it, but Jalau finds it average. Jada tries one more dress. Jalau likes it. Jada says to Moti, buy this one. Jupiter falls from J Judah's hands and falls on Jalal's face. He brings it, asks all to leave. He makes Judah wear it. Jalal says, you're so beautiful that colors become more colorful when you wear them. Judah says, I don't have time for this naughtiness. I have some work. Jalal says, you didn't do so much work in our marriage. Judah says, things were different then. We used to hate each other. Jalal says, what about now? Jada says, now my answer is that I love you so much. Jalal says, then hug me so tight that nobody can come in between us. She blushes and hugs him. She says, your love will be tested tomorrow. Remember how all wives wear veil and husbands have to recognize them. Jalal says, I have been given these tests many times and I won. Jada says, then do it. Let's see if you can recognize me this time or not. She's about to leave, but he holds her deep at her. Laboni sees this and fumes in anger. Jalal pulls Jada closer. Jada distracts him and runs from there. Jalal smiles. Laboni says to Damo, didn't you see how Jada is with Jalal? Damo says, Lila's fiancé is coming. What will we do? Laboni says, I tried to find out about Lila, but didn't know she was engaged. Damo says, our game can be finished. You will not get Jalal. Laboni says, I want Jalal and would get him at any cost. Damo says, I have one way. Don't come in front of Sangram till tomorrow night. Laboni asks, how do we do that? Damo says, you have to do it. I will gather power till tomorrow to handle things. Don't show your face to him till tomorrow night. It's morning. Laboni comes to Joda. Joda says, what jewelry do you like? You can take it. These are my jewelry. Laboni says, you are doing so much for me. Jada says you can take anything. Laboni thinks I want your most precious thing for me and that is your husband. Jada gives her one necklace and goes to bring Dupata. Laboni sees ball gown there and asks about it. Jada says Jalal gifted to me. Jada blushes. Laboni fumes. Desi comes and says Aram is calling you. Jada leaves. Laboni sees Jupiter which Jalal selected for Jada. She wears it and says, soon, I'll be close to Jalal. Jalal comes from behind and thinks that Joda is wearing that Jupiter. He backs, hugs, Laboni. Laboni is beyond happy. Joda comes in and sees them hugging. She is stunned. She says, Shahensha. Jalal is shocked to find Joda standing behind. Laboni turns. Jalal is, is shocked to see that he was hugging Laboni. Joda comes in. Jalal says, you were here? Who is she then? He sees Laboni and says, Lila, she laughs. He says, look at your face. I was playing a game with you. Jalal says, I'm really sorry. 
I thought it's Joda. She says I should go. Joda says, Lila, put this shell there. She leaves. Jalal says, I'm sorry, Joda. I didn't know that was not you. She says, I thought you won't win the game. He says, are you not mad at me? She says, did you do it deliberately? He says, why would I? He says, thank God. She says, you will have to win tomorrow or you will have to compensate. He says, I will win it. Announcement is being made that it's Lila's Nika today. There's a royal feast. No one should cook food today. Salima comes to Murad and says, you're not ready. He says, I am not needed there. He says, you and Shahensha always gave importance to Salim and Rahim. He leaves. She says, I'm sorry, God, if I made the difference between Rahim and him. He should never know that he is some other woman's son. The man in black comes and says, I need to go in. Shahensha needs to meet me. I am important to him. Grat says he wants me to. He says, I'm leaving. You will come looking for me. Sangran comes in. Shahensha welcomes him. He says, where is Lila? Jada says, you have to go through a test before seeing her. Lila says to her mom how to go in front of Sangram. What if he recognizes me? Jada comes in and says, you look so good, Lila. She brings in all the clothes. Jada says, let's play a game with Sangram. This is a ritual. All the wives will wear the dupata, and our husbands will have to recognize ours. She says in heart, thank God, I will have to stay away from Sangram for some time. Sangram and Jalal and all the men come in. Jalal says, you got something, neither did I. He says, what if I couldn't recognize? Jalal says, then you won't be able to see your wife's face ever. Jalal recognizes Jada. Sangram comes forward. Lila is scared. He takes off the Jupiter from Lila's face and says, Lila. She says in heart, why did you call me Lila? Laboni's mom says she has made him her servant by magic. She smiles. Jalal says, very good, Sangram. Jada says he's my brother-in-law. She says, how did you recognize her? Or did Dilla help you? He says, there is no cheating. I recognized her from the ring. Jalal says, let's enjoy the celebration for now. The dance starts. Sangram says, I'm not feeling well. Jalal says, should I call Hakim? He says, no, I just need to go. He leaves. Jalal holds Jada's hands and says, you have to do compensation. She says, I never promised you. I'm sleepy. We have to sleep. Then I'll recall in the morning if I promised you something. He says, I won't go. She says, okay, then you can sleep here. Jada says, okay, I will do what you ask. He says, I want to tell you that I won. She says, I helped you. He says, yes, I know. You put Mendy on your hand. The way you showed me, I knew you wanted me to recognize you. She says, tell me what I have to do. He says, wear that English dress again, please. I like you in them. She says some other time. He says, okay, I trust you. Okay, guys, thank you for watching today's episode on Judah Akbar. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more updates. Bye.